I do like it when the Foo Fighters are here. They bring a good vibe. Well, there's so little Foo around when they're here. Well, because it's all being fought. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> that's, that's the point. Yeah. I like that they've made this slasher movie. I'm kind of surprised you're not in it, Reg. I feel like it's the type of thing the Foo Fighters would be like, Reg, come and be in a slasher movie. Well, yeah, but I, I'm, a, I'm a huge anti-goo person. Right. So anything with goo in it, I can't no do. No goo. It's a goo-free zone. Can't do in the In fact, goo. If, you, if you had a band, you'd be called the Goo Fighters. Exactly. That's how, exactly. That's how much you don't like it. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. What other movies could, could the Foo Fighters be inserted into? If you, could, if you could add the Foo Fighters to any movie, what would it be? I, I'd like them to be, like, in The Lord of the Rings. Like, yeah. They're just part of the crew, uh -huh. you know what I mean? When they're like, my bow and my sword and my axe and, like, and the Foo Fighters. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'd like them? I'd like them to be the, the band on the Titanic. Oh. <laughs> you know, like, when they all said, on, the band played on. Be really great. If, like, in the midst of it, you know, Billy Zane's trying to get in that lifeboat yeah. that he shouldn't get in. And... Kate Winslet's and Leonardo DiCaprio's been changed up, and they're just like, I got another confession! Yeah. <laughs> it would really lift that movie. It would really lift that part of the film. I think, I think any music lifts the mood. Yeah. I think even, like, do you know what I mean? Damien Rice could be like... And right. so it is, just like... And they were like, well, at least there's music. Like, this is nice, yeah, this is nicer than freezing to death in the North Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, Damien, float like a cannonball. Yeah. You've got it right. Watch this. <laughs> deep cut, that, deep cut. Yeah. I ate that album up. I ate that album up. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, yeah, so good, Hagar. S so good. Heart-wrenching. Heart-wrenching. Do you know what I always think about when I... When I, think, when I think about that album, I painted a gate listening to that album. <laughs> it's a true story. I painted a gate. Well, it was. My ex-ex-girlfriend's family bought this house in Italy and they were going over. Sounds flash, it wasn't. And um, they were doing it all up and stuff and I could sense, even on the aeroplane, tension within her family at the very notion of putting this house together. But we were all going to help, and it was a lot of, like, building of furniture, and we got there, and there was, like, Ikea boxes and all this stuff, and I thought, I know how to get out of this. I need to stay out of that house and just paint that gate. <laughs> and that's what I did. <laughs> Two coats in green. Beautiful. Is that the only manual labour you've ever done? Is that...? <laughs> <laughs> that's why you remember it. That's why you remember it, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sorry. I, I don't know. I, all I can see now is a man the in a glass box. house throwing a huge <laughs> bowl of stones. No, don't even come I, at me. I, I know what you're going to say. No, no, you're going to no. say, oh, I shifted all those logs no, at I Petersham do... Nursery. That was one <laughs> summer. That was one summer. And cause you did it because you needed money. I did it because I was helping and my... The lady pe doth protest too much, me think. <laughs> Fair but enough. no, you're, yeah, I think you're right. That probably was the only time I've done <laughs> manual labour. <laughs> Someone nearly clapped. <laughs> well, listen, America, wait no more. It's that time. It's time for the news. <laughs> Russia continues to prepare for what's looking more and more like a full-scale invasion of Ukraine. But today, Vladimir Putin released a video and had this to say. Наша страна всегда открыта для прямого и честного диалога, для поиска дипломатических развязок самых сложных проблем. Now we cut it off before the end there because at that, at that point Putin was like, and be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for all my videos. <laughs> he talked about direct and honest dialogue, which sounds like someone's been to marriage counseling, doesn't it? That's what it is. Meanwhile, President Biden continues to pile on sanctions with the latest round of sanctions specifically targeting the families of Putin's inner circle. Assets are being frozen, bank accounts are being squeezed, and most painful of all, there is no more sharing of a single Netflix password. And I think that'll do it. I think that'll get him. In other news, it looks like Los Angeles will be lifting its indoor mask mandate on Friday. The new guidelines will allow vaccinated people to take off their masks, but only at locations that check for proof of vaccination. That story, again, people in L.A. who got work done 
over the pandemic, I've only got two days left until the big reveal. <laughs> no more masks in Los Angeles. Meanwhile, the rest of the country's like, masks? <laughs> you guys are still doing that? <laughs> Nick, your wife must be excited. Finally get her panties back. <laughs> To be clear, Nick, can you help me out here? So I, when I heard this story, I was buzzing. I was like, amazing. We don't have to wear masks here anymore. But we do, apparently, yes? Yeah, I think, I think we still might here. Why? Uh, because I think that Hollywood might have different roles than California and LA County. I, you know, I think we <laughs> move the show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move the show. Let's just move the show. To where? where? Let's go to Florida, man. Let's just do it. Let's just do it, right? I think we're trading one set of problems for another if we go to <laughs> And did everybody hear about this? A Scottish theatre company just set a new Guinness World Record. The company opened a box of mystery scripts and then staged a full musical in just nine hours, 59 minutes and three seconds. Listen, we make a TV show from scratch every single day. Doesn't mean it's a good idea. <laughs> I will say this, it does help that the performers were Scottish. Because then no one really knows if you got a line wrong. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're like, yeah, it's get uh, that's what I see on my chair pity. Hey, what's a night on a bar chair? And people are like, I, I imagine it's the script. Yeah. <laughs> And finally, we want to show you this. A dog in Japan has become a bit of an internet sensation after it was captured on Google Maps, chasing the Google car everywhere. Here it is here. So you see it there, and then here. And then again, here. <laughs> Apparently, the dog was chasing the Google Maps car, except when it was in that boatyard, he was just there to buy cocaine. <laughs> It started off in Japan, but this dog was relentless. Look how far he followed the car. He followed the car to the NBA All-Star game. <laughs> then he was at Kanye's launch for Donda 2. <laughs> and finally, he went all the way to Russia to smooth out the whole Ukraine thing. <laughs> and that's the news. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back in a little bit. Hope that you're enjoying your time here. Make sure to hit that popcorn. Bye-bye.